In this series of videos, from now on, we will be studying about Paribhasha Prakarana, the chapter on technical terminologies explained in Rasa Shastra. In this video, let us learn regarding Nirvapa, Avapa, Abhisheka and Dalana procedures. The first one, Nirvapa. Reference, Rasaratna Samuchaya, Chapter 8, Shloka 54. Taptasya Apsu, Vinikshepo, Nirvapaha, Snapanam Chatat. Taptasya Apsu. Taptasya, heating a metal to red hot. Apsu vinikshepo. Apsu means liquid media. So dipping it in liquid media. Nirvapaha snapanam chatat. This procedure is called as nirvapa or snapana. Second reference, Rasatarangini, chapter 2, shloka number 40. Dhatva dehe. Vanhi taptasya jaladav yat nishechanam sa nirvapaha smritas chapi nishekaha snapanam chatat dhatva dehe vanhi taptasya heating dhatu adi metals to red hot jaladav yan nishechanam dipping it in jala adi or any liquid media sa nirvapaha smritas chapi Nishekaha snapanam chatat. It is called as nirvapa or nisheka or snapana. Coming to the procedure. Henceforth, nirvapa is a process in which a metal is heated to red hot and dipped in a specified liquid media. The materials required are heating apparatus. A vessel containing dravadravya, metal and tongs. Firstly, the metal is held with the tongs in the fire and heated to red hot. Once it turns red, it is immediately dipped in a vessel containing liquid media. This procedure is called Nirvapa, Nisheka or Snapana. Uses Nirvapa is a procedure used in Shodhana or purification of metals. Repeated heating of metal and dipping in liquid media facilitates even in the next procedure that is Marana or incineration of metals. Now, the second one, Avapa, reference, Rasaratna Samuchaya, Chapter 8, Shloka 52. Drute Dravyanta Rakshepo, Lohadye Kriyate Hi Yaha, Sa Avapaha, Prativapaha, Tadeva Achadanam Matam. Drute Dravyanta Rakshepo, Lohadye. Drute lohadye means loha adi metals is heated till it turns to druta or molten state. Dravyanta rakshepo addition of dravyas to the molten metal. This kriya or procedure is called avapa, prativapa and achadana as well. The second reference is rasatarangini. Chapter 2, Shloka number 39. Dravyantara vinikshepo drute vangadike tu yaha. Kriyate sa prativapa avapascha nigadyate. So, drute vange, here metals like vanga or tin is heated till it turns to druta or molten state. Dravyantara vinikshepo. Addition of any other dravya to it. This procedure is called prativapa or avapa. Therefore, avapa can be considered as a procedure in which 
a metal is heated till it melts and other dravyas are added to the molten state. The materials required are metal, heating apparatus, dravya or specific materials which are told. Firstly, metal is taken in a musha or any other vessel and heated till it melts. Once it melts, dravya such as haridra churna, apa marga churna or any other specified powders are added to the molten metal. This procedure is called avapa, prativapa or achadana. Uses Avapa is a procedure which is adopted in making bhasma of metals, particularly puti lohas like vanga, naga, etc. This procedure further helps in incineration of such dhatus. The third one, Abhisheka. Reference, Rasaratna Samuchaya, Chapter 8, Shloka 53. Drute vanhisthite lohe viramya ashta nimeshakam salilasya parikshepaha so abhisheka iti smritaha. Drute vanhisthite lohe that is loha it is heated till completely turns to molten state. Viramya ashta nimeshakam waiting for 8 seconds. Salilasya Parikshepaha Sprinkling of salila or water to the molten metal. So Abhisheka iti smrutaha. This is called as Abhisheka. Therefore, a procedure wherein metal is heated till it melts and once it completely melts, one has to wait for Ashtanimesha roughly equal to 8 seconds. and then sprinkle water over it. This procedure is called as Abhisheka. According to Professor Dattatriya Anantu Kulkarni, it is said that sprinkling liquid on the molten metal, the impurities will get separated from the metal. Thus, this procedure helps in Shodhana or purification of the metal. Now, the last one, Dhalana. Reference, Rasaratna Samuchaya, Chapter 8, Shloka 40. Dhrita Dravyasya Nikshepo Drave Tat Dhalanam Matam Dhrita Dravyasya, that is, molten metal, Nikshepo Drave Dipping it in specified Drava or liquid media is called as Dhalana. The second reference, is from Rasatarangini, Chapter 2, Shloka 36. Sandravitasya Dravyasya Drave Nikshepanantu Yat Dhalanam Tat Samuddhishtam Rasakarma Visharadaihi Sandravitasya Dravyasya Firstly, the metal is heated till it turns to Dravasvarupa or molten state. Drave nikshepanantu yet, dipping the same in a liquid media. It is called as dhalanam by rasakarma visharadaihi or people who are expertised in rasashastra. So this procedure requires a metal specified liquid media heating apparatus. Firstly, metal is taken in a pan or a crucible, heated till it melts. Then, molten metal is poured into the liquid media. This procedure also is used as Shodhana for Puti Lohas. And while doing Shodhana of Puti Lohas, an instrument called Pithara Yantra is used. In this instrument, a square shaped wooden piece is taken as shown in the video which has a hole in the center. This wooden piece will be placed on the brim of the vessel containing specified dravadravya. When dhalana is done using this particular yantra, wastage of metal 
while spilling can be reduced. Now, when we compare the four procedures that is Nirvapa, Avapa, Abhisheka and Dalana. So, Nirvapa is process in which metal is heated to red hot and dipped in liquid media. Avapa is a process in which metal is heated till it melts and other dravyas like Appa Marga Churna or Haridra Churna etc. are added to it in molten state. Then Abhisheka is a procedure where a metal is heated completely to molten state, waited for 8 seconds and then water is sprinkled to it. Last, Dhalana, here the metal is heated to molten state and the molten metal is dipped into the liquid media. For any queries, doubts, suggestions, please comment below. Do like and subscribe our channel for more such videos.